So just a, a preamble, this is a story about what happens to a ticket reseller who isn't able to sell tickets. This is part of the problem. What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Travis here on Thumbs Up Run. And you know how we talk about buying tickets, selling tickets, making sure that you have all the fun with your tickets? Well, we have a bit of a problem. Today's a bit different. I have a bit of a story to tell you guys. So you know how I buy and sell tickets? Well, now we're at the point where this whole past year, it's been, you know, relatively slow ever since, you know, March. Oh, I still had that urge to go and buy things, sell things. So I, I may have gone a bit overboard in my uh, attempt to buy and sell things. Let me explain, but first, let me show you my, my, my problem. It's not just I have one problem, it's more like 41 problems with another 30 on the way. Yeah. <laughs> I can explain. So events basically stopped mid-March, then the cancellations started coming March, April, May, June, July, so it was just a matter of trying to survive. Events getting cancelled, events getting refunded, sales getting cancelled, sales getting refunded, events getting postponed, Ticketmaster saying, oh, you want your money back, you gotta follow through this hoop, jump through this hoop, say Ticketmaster five times a week, that's Ticketmaster, Ticketmaster, oh, oh my god. Basically, all that to be said, eventually got all my money back, well, most of the money that I was owed has now been refunded back to me. Sales that I had to cancel, I've had to refund them. Money's gone back and money's exchanged many people's hands. And now we're at the point where things are, you know, settling down. You know, baseball is, is happening. Hockey's finishing up. Basketball's starting to finish up. And I'm feeling like I, I, I gotta do something. Normally in April, May, you'd start renewals for hockey. You'd be starting renewals for basketball. You'd be starting getting ready for MLS. Concerts are happening all throughout the summer and into the fall. So many things are happening, right? So it's just constantly, you know, buying, selling, buying, selling, spending money, saving money. All that to be said this year, it was basically just stagnant. Then, then I did what all people do and I went onto the YouTubes. And on the YouTubes, I started seeing all these ads. I don't know what happened, but basically, you know, the Amazon FBA ads and make money selling stuff online ads and all the other, you know, gurus with the Lamborghinis and all that nonsense. And I'm like, oh, I can do that. So first I started with textbooks, then I had some other, you know, smaller products, and I had some other random products that I was selling. And then, you know, it, it was it was something, it was happening. You know, basically over the last three months, it's just kind of selling a few of these things a couple times a day, nothing too exciting. And then it's kind of like tailed off and slowed down. And I was like, well, that's something. But but then I saw, kept seeing ads for sneaker resellers. And I was like, oh, I resell things. What's the difference between this and you know, just, just tickets, right? So simple. So it turns out it's the same, but different. Because at least with tickets, for the most part, they're a digital product. So you know, you get the digital PDF for the mobile ticket, and then once it's sold, you transfer it off. The way it goes, ma la di la di la, dollars end up in your bank account. Everybody wins. In this situation, it's a lot more, as we say, manual labor. And then, and then I said, oh, I can do this. And then I bought a pair of shoes. What did I buy first? I bought, oh, uh, 350 V2 Naturals. Paid $300 for them plus tax. Uh, and then I eventually sold them for about $400 minus fees. So I made, you know, not that much money. I'm like, oh, this wasn't too bad. I only had to wait, you know, an hour in line. And then I had to spend another, you know, 30 minutes or so trying to list them and all this stuff. I'm like, oh, this is not too bad. But then I was something on YouTube where they talk about, you know, going to Nike outlets and buying stuff there and then reselling them. Like, oh, price arbitrage. This is very similar to the Amazon thing. I can do this. Uh, so then that happened. And then, and then, you know, I had one shoe and then I had two shoes and then I had more shoes. And now I have all, all the shoes. And then I have more shoes coming still. Uh, yay? Yeah. And then, and then this happened, I swear this only happened now because I was so distraught with the amount of shoes that I had that I, I just couldn't deal with this. Although, I must say, I do have one, one reason for doing all this, and that's because there was one pair of shoes that I did want for myself, and I did not have the justification to go ahead and buy them. So I said to myself, if I can make enough money reselling shoes 
then I can justify being able to buy the pair of shoes that I want. So the ones I want, let me show you. They are very nice. They are very amazing. Um, and they are very, very, very expensive. The shoes I want, they're, they're these ones. These guys. Uh, they are Jordan 1 retro golf cleats. They are currently, someone's asking 2400 bucks, the highest bid 1469 uh, Canadian. I want them, but I don't think I'm going to get them just yet. Until I sell, you know, all, all of this plus whatever else is coming. These shoes, they're basically the justification for this whole ordeal behind me. Uh, so I'll keep you guys updated on how that's going. But really, the thing is though, I kind of realize that all this is is not for me. Uh, the soon as college football playoffs kind of rolled around, um, I had bought some tickets and then I sold some tickets and it took about five minutes, maybe 10 max, uh, for about buying tickets, listing tickets, selling the tickets, transferring the tickets. Yeah, that's my story. You know, I've been told that I shouldn't stop, but it, it didn't really click until I sold those tickets because that's kind of what I do. So... I'm gonna stop. I promise. If you guys are interested in actually seeing more segments of this sneaker stuff that's going on and, you know, my quest to actually go ahead and buy these shoes, uh, definitely let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, especially if you're interested in seeing the end of this saga, what's going to happen, will I be able to buy these shoes or not. Also, going back to regular programming as events start coming back up, although I do have quite a few videos in the works on the way coming right for you, so be sure to subscribe if you have not yet, uh, and see you guys next time.